Hey guys, it's Miss Long, and I'm back for this week's version of Book Talk Tuesday. And I bet you guys aren't too surprised to see that uh, this week's book talk is going to be over a genre we haven't really covered yet, and that is scary books or horror books, okay, or paranormal books. You could call them, you know, several different things. The first one I'm going to talk to you about is Scary Stories Volume 3, More Tales to Chill Your Bones by Alvin Schwartz. These books have been wildly popular since the early 1980s and into the 90s, and they're still popular today. Um, basically, this is a volume of 20 different short stories that are just really equally creepy and freaky and weird. And I just thought I'd share a quick synopsis with you. An innocent girl dies after her prom dress is discovered to have been laced with embalming fluid after being used on a corpse. A dead man refuses to stay in his grave and returns home every night, scaring away his wife's potential suitors. <gasps> it says these stories are guaranteed to make your teeth chatter and your spine tingle. Perfect for reading alone or aloud in a dimly lit room. You know what? We could do that. We could do dimly lit. I'll be right back. Stay right there. Rule number one, when telling ghost stories, you've got to set the scene for it to be just right. And that does require dimly, a dimly lit room. So let's get started. Okay. This short story is called The Bus Stop. Ed Carter was driving home from work in a rainstorm while he waited for a traffic light to change. He saw a young woman standing alone at a bus stop. She had no umbrella and was soaking wet. Are you going toward Farmington? He called. Why, yes, I am, she said and batted her eyelashes. Would you like a ride home? I would, she said and got in. And by the way, don't ever do that in real life, y'all. That's just not a good idea. Okay, back to the story. My name is Joanna Finney. Thank you for rescuing me. I'm Ed Carter, he said, and you're very welcome. On the way, they talked and talked. She told him about her family and her job, where she had gone to school, and he told her about himself. By the time they got to her house, the rain had stopped. I'm glad it rained, Ed said. Would you like to go out with me tomorrow after work? I'd love to, Joanna said. She asked him to meet her again at the bus stop since it was so close to her office. They had such a good time. They went out many times after that. Hmm. Always they would meet at the bus stop and off they would go. Ed liked her more each time he saw her. <clears throat> but one night, when they had a date to go out, Joanna did not appear. <clears throat> Ed waited at the bus stop for almost an hour and started to worry. Maybe something is wrong, he thought, and he drove to her house in Farmington. <clears throat> an older woman came to the door. I'm Ed Carter, he said. Maybe Joanna told you about me? Um, I was supposed to have a date with her tonight. We were supposed to meet at that bus stop, you know, right by her office, but she never showed up. She all right? The woman looked at him as if he had said something strange. <clears throat> I'm Joanna's mother, she said slowly. Joanna isn't here now, but why don't you come in? Ed, Ed pointed to a picture on the mantel. <laughs> that looks just like her, he said. It did once, her mother replied. But that picture was taken when she was your age, about 20 years ago. 
a few days later, she was waiting in the rain at that bus stop. A car hit her, and she was killed. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know about you guys, but that tingled my spine a little bit. Ooh. Well, there's many more stories like that in this volume of scary stories, three more tales to chill your bones. And real quickly before we close for the week, I wanted to share two amazing stories we just got. And I mean literally just opened the box on Friday and got these two books out. I haven't, had, I haven't even had a chance to read them yet. This is the Puppets Payback. And just the illustration on the cover makes me freak out. Ugh. It's by Mary Downing Hahn. It's other chilling tales about 13 short stories, kind of like the book I just showed you. Okay, and as y'all know, Mary Downing Hahn's an amazing author. She's written so many ghost stories for kids. Um, the Ghost of Crutchfield Hall, Closed Season, and more. Okay, so y'all can come check this out. And the last book I want to briefly show you, this also came out of the box on Friday, Haunted Hospital by Marty Chan. And I'm going to read you the back blur because it's really freaky. Xander thinks the George Wickerman Hospital would be the perfect setting for spirits and specters. A role-playing game where players go on missions to find evidence of paranormal activities. According to local legend, patients were used as test subjects in medical experiments that ended tragically, and their disfigured ghosts walked the hallways of this now abandoned building. What better location to go ghost hunting? They didn't really believe those rumors, did they? But Xander and his friends soon begin to suspect that they are not alone. Is this place actually haunted by ghosts or something even more terrifying? <gasps> Woo! If you want to find out, come by MacArthur Library this week and check out the haunted hospital. I'll see you guys later.